There is a new proposal that would make millions more Americans eligible for overtime Let's pay. Let's talk about this. I'm telling you, this is a story we've been covering with the tipped minimum wage here in D.C., mm -hmm. but apparently the Biden administration is proposing a new rule that would require employers to pay overtime to workers who make less than $55,000 a year. So this would be uh, having the biggest impact on people who work in, say, retail, food, mm -hmm. hospitality, and manufacturing workers. Business leaders say that salary requirement is way too high for small businesses to keep up with but workers say this is badly needed and you can see why again a lot of them trying to make a living if yeah. you could pay them overtime maybe that has augment the, the, the cost that they're incurring uh, it's a talker I'm from the old school yeah I worked at Pizza Hut if I put in 40 Forty point three zero. You want? I want my want my three zero with time and a half. I don't blame you. I mean, my, you put my, in work at anything for over forty it. was supposed to be time and a half, and it yeah. was just understood. Yeah. And my boss oftentimes would make sure I was a college student, so, so he would make sure I would get some overtime. Yeah. I would come and do a twelve-hour shift when I could, whatever. So I'm, I it believe. It was fair, but and I'm I, I, on the side of labor. Pay me if I come to work. Okay, but what are people saying about this? Well, we took it to the streets, and most people agreed with me. Yeah, this is what they had to say. New, there's a new uh, rule that the Biden administration would like to put forward. Overtime pay if you work over 40 hours a week. Yes, but not through the federal government, through the state government. So I wouldn't have it be a Biden thing. And you work your 40 hours a week. Should you get automatic overtime if you work over 40 hours a week? Yeah. Any overtime should be compensated appropriately, whether that is through pay, extra time off, or other incentives from the company. I love it. That, that, that's what I, that's the system I grew up understanding. I didn't know that we had fallen out of automatic overtime if it's 40 hours above. People who, who work hourly are the backbone of this country, and I think that, you know, when you don't have that backbone, everything falls apart, so it's, it's important to incentivize that, not just in the 40-hour work week, but beyond. I mean, these are people who do a lot of the hard jobs that make life in America great, so. Backbone of our country, give these people their money. He said it, stop playing with me. Plan I agree that, and the walk off for for oh, yeah, to make I, the yeah, point. Just, just to make I, the I point. agree. I agree. I think pay people what they're worth, what they're earning. It, it's just it's only fair. You have a, a, a more lively, or at least a more um, incentivized workforce. Yeah. They do the job and makes the country keep moving. Well, I right? think that lad, the, with the woman who said it should not come from federal, it should come from state. She has a point, but we need yes. to de delve deeper into that. We have to flesh that out later. Get these okay.